Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Plot Thickens, and our scripture is Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. He said to them, The scriptures declare my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. After that, he taught daily in the temple, but the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the other leaders of the people began planning how to kill him. But they could think of nothing, because all the people hung on every word he said. Those of us who were brought up in Western culture where a settled and revered, almost hallowed fact of governance is the separation not only of powers, but of religion from government, may find it a bit cumbersome to wrap our thinking around government as a working arm of religion. This was the conglomeration of scribes, Pharisees, Levites, and other lesser rulers, It was difficult to see where a secular decision left off from the scriptural interpretation. Yet, this is what Jesus faced in Jerusalem. The word of God was their law. The religious leaders were charged with governing the people theocratically, with benevolence and strict adherence to God's message of fairness and kindness to all neighbors. In centuries of men getting accustomed to power and lusting for even more control, obedience to the word of God faded, and the will of corrupt men became the law. Godlessness infiltrated Israel to the point of placing the system ahead of everything God had commanded. Even worship at the temple became a business to line the pockets of the strong rulers. Fast forward, or rewind, to any point in history, and the story is the same. If you have a system, those without a conscience or fear of God will tweak the system to favor what pleases them. Religious or secular, the story is the same. We're all somewhat bewildered by what happens in Washington. Whatever party is in power persecutes the last administration to some degree. Elections are dirty business. Those of us in the Methodist tribe are watching another political tug of war between traditional and progressive factions on the religious scene. Race, gender, age, socioeconomic strata, sexual identification, and many other sociologically labeled causes are plotted battle lines drawn with blood. To quote Dorothy, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. The point, more succinctly, is we were never in Kansas or Mayberry or Eden. We live in the sin six stew of humanity, populated by beings created with the image of God stamped on our souls, but that image incredibly darkened by our own lust for control and self-determination. It was to this world Jesus came to bring holy light on that image of God we'd lost to our spiritual blindness. And darkness refused. The plot thickened, and Jesus died for us anyway. And now we are offered the gift of eternal life with the light we crucified. For you today. When the plot thickens in Washington or some bomb blast in another country or your denomination or your local city council meeting and you sense that something terrible is in the works, be of good courage. Jesus overcame the darkness with his blood and there's nothing to fear. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.